our ACU students uh, from America. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Sam. Sam. And B. I'm Michelle. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Thailand. <laughs> uh, when I first got to Bangkok, I guess when I pictured Thailand, I pictured a jungle. I knew Bangkok was crazy big and crazy busy, um, so I was a little nervous. Everything is big and bright, and there are so many people. The noises and the, the smells, it's like a mixture of everything you can even imagine, so it's extremely overwhelming. There's a lot of corruption here and a lot of bad things here, um, but at the same time, there's little, there's little bits of light shining um, in Bangkok. Uh, one of the first things we were able to do was go to English camp. We put it on at Cha'am Beach. All right, we're about to head off to Camp Cha'am. Are you guys ready? Yeah! It was so much fun. I think at first I was really nervous. Uh, I've never taught English before. Yeah, I speak it, but maybe not the best. Um, and I was really nervous, but when immediately when the, all of the students got off the vans, they were just so excited and you could just hear them squealing and saying hello. We were whining each other and um, all of the ner nervousness just went away. They were so excited to be there and to learn and that made it all the more exciting to want to teach them. Uh, I think I was like uh, maybe overthinking it, but it was just so simple. It's just having a simple conversation like you would with anybody or a friend and they became our really good friends. So it was a really, really good experience. Yes, the service learning project we went on was about a two-week trip. Um, Basilium, just to get there, um, we, so we got to Lompong, and then we had to get into the back of pickup trucks with all of our suitcases and bags and all the supplies, and then we rode up the side of the mountain for about an hour in the dark. Um, so, and then we got there, and we were like, you're in a little village, um, so on a mountain, so you're not really like in a city at all. We were able to serve people and love on them while using something that we were passionate about, such as nursing. We were able to kind of learn the basics and the starting points for how to conduct a research study. And we split up in groups and went to the different homes in the villages and just asked them um, uh, health questions about um, took some of their family history, and some of the medical history, some uh, um, problems that they, some chronic problems that they, they dealt with. Um. And after understanding what many of the people were going through, we planned a clinic. First we did one just for the children at the school. We did height and weight, and we did eye checks, body position checks, life checks and dental education. Also, we did another day for the whole community, which more of the adults were able to come on this day. And we have the same stations, but also blood pressure and blood glucose checks. But it was nice to actually go out in the field and do some of that with other people that are a little bit more experienced than myself. Um, so it was like fun to learn from them and the professors. I remember Shelly and Laura were like teaching Amy and I how to just take like blood glucose and I've seen my dad do that like a hundred times um, but I've never done it to anybody before so that was like a really good experience. Uh, some of the girls that we met at the camp they were also able to come back uh, and we were able to teach them here at the church one on one, uh, which was so, so nice. It was good to have that first experience with them one weekend 
outside of Bangkok, outside of all the craziness, and get to know them a little bit. But then seeing them the second time was so exciting. And they were very excited to learn more. And we've got to know each other a whole lot more. So we started teaching English, and I was very nervous because we were using the Bible, um, which was wonderful. But I felt like it was too much of a responsibility that I could not do myself. So I was able to pray about it and reflect over it. And eventually I realized that God really can just use all of us in our weaknesses. And even though there was a big language barrier when I was teaching English, I would you know, draw pictures on the board and we would just laugh about my stick figures. But in the end, they understood the story. Afterwards, after the three weeks were over, we went and bought Bibles for them. And I didn't really know how my English students were going to take it because they're all, all Buddhist. But they were just so appreciative about it. Their faces were so full of joy. And I really think that they're going to use them in the future. So it's really cool to see the seeds that God is using us to plant this summer could be effective in the long run. A few years ago, I learned about the problem of sex trafficking and prostitution all over the world, and I became really passionate about it. So coming to Bangkok, obviously it's a big problem here, and I was really interested in getting involved with it. We got to go to a coffee shop called Nightlight, uh, and it's not just a coffee shop. They um, provide work and outreach to, um, I guess, bar dancers and prostitutes in some of the red light districts here. Um, they also help reconnect the ladies with their children and provide childcare to try to keep the families together. So we started out by just touring and listening to the specific problems of prostitution here in Bangkok. And after we were educated on it, we were able to go out into the bars with some of the women to talk to them. You talk with some of the girls there and um, just kind of get to know them and just to kind of build just a relationship with them and um, just to love on them, just to show them love. And it was just so cool to see how something I was passionate about, God had planned for us to come and, be, and start getting involved with. It was really hard to leave my family back home, but um, but I found a family here, and um, kind of unexpectedly did I find it, because I didn't think that I would feel so close to them in such a short amount of time, and feel like, um, like they were my brothers and sisters in Christ. And um, I really loved working with them and getting to know the people at Somber Song, because they have made me more passionate about my walk with um, my walk with in Christ and um, made me eager to know more and to, to keep on doing more and um, so I'll always appreciate that. I learned I think a lot more about fellowship and just churching and like fellowship does not have to be like in a church setting. Fellowship kind of looks more like a church like becoming like a family. We met the refugees through Some for Song and um, just going to see them every Sunday, even though it was just once a week, we were able to form really strong relationships with them. I loved the family so much that we were able to also go to their home. They made us a traditional dinner, Pakistani dinner, which was incredible. And we had some time to sing songs and worship with them. We read from the Bible together, and it was just great to play with the children, love on them, and pretend like I was six years old. I absolutely love them, and I'm going to miss them so much.